family, it's Tosh Mama prepping. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas Eve. Um, I'm, ha it has taken me a while to kind of get into the holiday spirit. I'm not 100% this year at all. You know, we've just been so busy, so busy with everything, with family, with the house, everything. And it's crazy to think that we've been back in this home for almost a year now. Um, and we're just now feeling like we're getting um, off of our feet and getting to move forward with some of our bigger projects, right? Super excited to move forward with the backyard and start doing that stuff, doing those projects. Super, I can't even ex explain how excited I am. And that's maybe why I haven't even really thought about Christmas, buying presents, you know, low-key Christmas, didn't really buy a lot this year anyway, made a lot of the presents, decorated but normally I decorate and then I go and I buy a couple new things right to add to the collection new lights whatever it is didn't do any of that right and so it's taken me a while normally I bake the entire time I bake usually so much that family is like okay that's enough we're way too fat can't do this right nothing we made cookies last night we burnt them okay we burnt half of them it's just horrible so I hope your holidays and your Christmas going a little bit better than mine. It's not that mine's going bad. I'm just kind of not feeling it. I'm not really into it this year, but I'm wishing you well, wishing you happy, um, beautiful time with family, right? Life is short, hug your family, spend time with your family. That's what's important. You know, a lot of folks are really going through the storm. And I think it's important to, because this is the situation, right? We talked about this yesterday what is happening across the united states right now with weather is what's crazy is taking some folks by surprise there are people that did not prepare i promise you there's people that don't listen to the warnings and still go out or still try to battle something right whether it's a road whether it's travel whether it's whatever um and just did not plan for this was not ready um and for a lot of people I would venture millions, it will be an eye opener to some extent, right? Even people who prepare, they're gonna go through this this latest storms we're going through and they're gonna realize maybe another prep or something else they should have gotten or something they used so much that they needed to have more on hand next time, right? And so I think there's something to be learned about storms and preparing for storms um, for everybody, for people that are brand new, that this took by surprise, the, the, the hope is that the folks that it took by surprise, they understand the extreme, um, the extremeness of it and start preparing and start understanding how important it is to get things and prepare things and not to panic buy because a lot of panic buying happened across the United States due to the storm coming because people that weren't ready and then actually maybe last minute started realizing, oh man, I don't have stuff. This is going to be a storm. We're going to get feet and feet, blizzard conditions, very, you know, minus, you know, conditions. Um, and high wind and stuff that we should get ready. And so those folks are the folks that go out and try to last minute get things and prepare. Um, it's not that you're that type of person if you went out and grabbed some stuff last minute, it's not. Because with a storm, you have the, um, the before, right? You have the pre-storm, then you have during the storm, and then you have after the storm. So before, you know, is what a lot of people concentrate on here's the list get these things you need this to prepare make sure you have this make sure you have that and you get those things before the storm to hunker down to be ready right and so you have the pre-stuff but then you have the the actual in the storm right that's a different dynamic hopefully if you've prepared well enough and and you're ready to go um during the storm is not that bad even if some of those bad or you know worse things do happen like you lose power and it's minus degree weather outside whatever the case may be you're ready because you're hunkered down you have the preps you have the things you have the extra clothes the blankets you have all the tips and tricks in your pocket to be able to keep your house as warm as possible your family as warm as possible right and whether that storms and trees falling down and, and power outages and whatever it is blizzard conditions right you're just hunkering down you've weatherized your home on the outside the best you can you've gotten the cars ready you've gotten your your materials for um during the storm when it's daytime and you're trying to clear stuff maybe you have your salt for your sidewalks you have your scrapers for your cars hopefully you're not going anywhere though if it's bad right you have your scrapers for your scraping snow and scraping your sidewalks and your driveway and you're doing that stuff and you're just doing your basic maintenance through the storm and you're just weathering it and you're hunkering down and it's not a big deal right um that time period could be scary because you're going through it but your quality of life is the best that it can be in that situation right 
And then you have the after, right? I'll give you an example. You know, we had crazy low temperatures all last week, very, very low. Then finally the snow came on top of those icy conditions. Um, and then we had snow for a couple days, then it stopped snowing and then it was really cold. So like six degree weather one night, it got down to a couple nights ago. Um, and it was just scary cold. And so as we're going through it, we're we're adjusting right we pre-stage stuff got things ready for the animals for ex example to make sure they're warm right the chickens have a heater i wrap their thing with you know some 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 of those heavy moving blankets we're cutting down the wind breaks right and we're just trying to keep them as comfortable as possible the biggest pain was me having to replace their water because i don't have a water heater yet and so me going out there every hour or so to replace their water so they would continue to have water right um, the cat, she sleeps outside, you know, and she has a bundled area that normally is perfectly fine, very warm. Um, she has like a little blanket in there and a little pillow, she's, excuse me, that she sleeps on. But, you know, it got down to six. I was very, very worried for her. I didn't see her. She wanted to stay in there. She didn't want to come out, um, you know. You know, so I'm bundling. I took a blanket. I pulled out her her house, her little house thing that she sleeps in. I wrapped it with another um, insulated blanket. You know, the the area she's under. I put a big wrapped area blanket around that. So just really, and then like a bunch of air was cutting in still. So I put another blanket in front of that to keep the wind down. I mean, it was very cold. And you know, she came in the night. The next night it was like the 20s, and she came in, and she came in for a good probably two hours, which she does not do. Right? She might come in and eat a little food, say hello, but within five ten minutes she's out. A good two hours, she stayed. She sat. Mind you, she didn't go throughout the house. She stayed by the door, but she was trying to get warm. Right? So those are the things you're, that that you might have to do during the storm. You've done the pre stuff, but you might have to do some stuff to keep going. Trees, my trees were toppling all the way down, my little baby trees that are wrapped. Um, so I had to take big sticks and big rakes and get them upright because ice was forming on the, the frost bags and literally pulling the tree all the way to the ground, right? So, um, you know, just different things. After, okay, the rain finally came for us. Hopefully rain is headed your way if you are going through icy or snow or blizzards or crazy wind. Um, hopefully that rain is coming your way, okay? Um, so wake up this morning, you know, but all night long hearing crashing sounds because literally the gutters were frozen solid in place, completely full of water and frozen. And all throughout the night, they're starting to unfreeze and their big chunks are dropping down all the gutters. And it's loud. And then the house, you know, and normally you'd be like, what is that? Well, we obviously figured out what it was after the first couple times. And so then when it's going on the rest of the night, we know what it is. But it was loud, um, you know, but stuff is starting to defrost. You know, I had to go out this morning, took all my frost covers off of my beds, let some rain get into, you know, kind of into there and, and get my plants very saturated. It's very warm. <laughs> it's like 40, 50 degrees. Like it's, it's, it's crazy because it's warm, but the rain is still cold, if that makes sense. So um, the rain that's coming down. So it's, it's kind of weird. Um, but high, high winds this morning, scary, all these big trees around the houses, you know, moving and the, one of the fences blew open and had a big gap where anything could come in. We had to go and secure that. You know, we had this other shade thing that flew off. We had to secure that. So there was things that we had to do. We can see now we're, we're going to have, we have a little flooding going on in the backyard. Nothing major, right? Nothing that's even remotely dangerous okay it's just a huge puddle right where all the snow is melting and then you have heavy rain and we're about to have heavy rain for the rest of the week you know and so all the notifications are coming out you know um worry about flooding and worry about mudslides and worry about all of this stuff right so i say that because you prepare so hard for a storm and then you weather the storm and it doesn't stop after the storm there's going to be damage possibly um you know down trees branches anything you left out if it's high winds blowing around you know i had to take down i had some bird feeders and i had some um like chimes chimes up had to take that down it's just crazy winds so storms storms to me it's kind of weird, but it kind of excites me. I get excited when uh, they say a storm's coming, no matter what type of storm it is. Um, but there's always something to do to either get ready for a storm, 
weather the storm or after the storm. Always, that is a constant thing with storm. You should be, that is a circle that should be happening the whole time because even if you're well between storm systems, let's say, and it's regular life, you always should be doing some sort of preparedness for the next storm that comes your way. And you can take that for actual physical storms or you can take that for storms of a different kind, you know, economic collapse, shortages, a job loss, things like that. Those are storms that come and hit your family, right? So this holiday season, you know, I hope you guys are faring well with all this crazy weather. That's not changing, you know. Um, you know, there's a lot of talk about weather manipulation. When it, don't doubt that at all. I'm, you know, without getting into it and, and you know, uh, YouTube getting crazy mad at me about talking about it. But we all know that this stuff is um, is out there. And it's like, you know, and then when you have a war going on, you know, I don't really... Um, I don't, those are the times that I think about those types of things. Um, when you talk about weather manipulation and things happening and people doing things, and when there's wars going on, to me, that's strategic type stuff going on, right? <clears throat> so I, I don't like it. But regardless, regardless of where it's coming from, how it's happening, it's here. And it's, and weather is something that you're going to have to continue to deal with, continue to weather, continue to prep for, prepare for, um, and prepare for before and going through it and after, right? Um, and the different aspects, like we're dealing with wind and some flooding now, you know, how does that affect where you live? What are some things that you would have? Maybe there's sandbags we need to buy for some areas. Um, you know, what is it that you need to make the situation better next time, right? Like we didn't have salt, we didn't buy salt this year. And, um, so we didn't have that. And there was a few times it was so icy, right? And we're shoveling, shoveling, but we needed salt, right? And so um, now we know for next time, we're gonna need that um, salt to make things easier for us. And it's not because it was the end of the world, it's just to quality of life. That's all it is, right? Um, you know, you have to have the right tools, shoveling snow, you know, hubby's already like, I need a snowblower, you know, because you still have to keep things ready ready for an emergency right you can't just get snowed in you got to make sure that driveway is clear your car is cleaned off and you're ready to go in case there's an emergency you guys have to take off and go to a hospital or whatever right um so there's always maintenance to be done during right so i hope that you guys have a beautiful beautiful holiday um today tomorrow going into the new year um, think about those goals. Think about those resolutions. It's probably what I'm going to talk about on Monday. Probably talk you through um, some of our resolutions, some of the things that we're going to be doing. And they all have to do with preparedness. You hear that? The whole house just like creaked. And just heard the wind whip around the side of the house. So, um, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I sent a post this morning just saying thank you and, and happy holidays, you guys. Just if you're a subscriber of mine or if you watch me and you're not a subscriber, first of all, please subscribe. But if you're not, I do understand that a lot of people watch videos and never subscribe to any channels. Um, thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hitting that like button. Thank you for sh those that share the video. Just thank you for those that comment. Thank you to those that don't comment. Those those that are faithful and watch me and support me all of the time and watch my videos all the way to the end and support me in that way. It does matter. It does not matter if you comment. Okay, I, I, if you're not the type that wants to do that, me, okay, introvert, believe it or not, absolutely understand that you want to keep um, quiet and not interject and not discuss and not talk and all of that stuff. So thank you, thank you, thank you, no matter what type of person you are watching me, thank you for your support. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. And going into this next year, I'm very excited for this channel. I'm very excited for the second channel. I'm still, I know I've said this forever, I'm still working on my website, hoping in the next couple months I have that and I have merch, candles, coffee cups, different stuff available on it. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to continue to work on that as well. So stay well, stay beautiful, stay kind, and do everything in love. You guys take care.